Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This video is a short video and it's in, in answer to a question I read on Reddit and it's to demonstrate how to do these angled posts on this platform and this is one one approach that um, I, I, I'm not in love with it but it works so I'm going to walk through it for the uh, poster. Hopefully they haven't solved their own problem but I'm sure uh, I've seen this angle, you know, making two angled legs facing the opposite direction somewhere else. So this is not terribly difficult to do. Um, and I'm just going to start with a whole new uh, project and do my usual, uh, usual um, part body sketch. Um, and so this is going to be uh, all sketch based. You could, I think you could also pretty, pretty easily do this in the part diagram the parts workbench and it might might even be easier uh, I don't know but so so uh, I am adding the fillets in the sketch but I have read that it's a good, a good idea to add the fillets um, at the at the end of the um, drawing uh, and I and I think that's right because it just uh, it, it, it adds less complexity at the sketch level which I think is a good a good thing so I'm gonna make I estimated his shape based upon a picture um, that had a grid and I was assuming the grid was uh, 30 or 10 millimeters per grid spot so this is this is just a guess on what the sizes should be so you can change them accordingly so you see I'm just going through and and I'm not going to explain each step in this um, because this is just for you to, for someone who wants to do something like this to copy and to learn on their own. So I didn't, I don't want to uh, walk it. I don't want it to be too specific. It's, let's get rid of the redundant constraints, and we can actually add the um, the circles here. So as long as as long as Sketcher can see something that it can make solid, it's going to be happy. So you can you can add as much um, geometry as you can here. It's when it, it's when Sketcher doesn't know what the I don't know the correct term. It, it's when it doesn't know what the uh, solid object could be. Like you could have two possible solid objects. It's not going to be but be able to turn that into a pad so you have to so you have to tell it it'll you'll be able to make a valid sketch but you won't be able to do much with it so I'm gonna do some things just to make this even so I don't know what the measurements are for this so I'm just I'm just gonna do some stuff to make it look like what the what the poster wanted so now I'm gonna pad this I'm gonna pad it to about four I think so now adding these posts this is the this is the harder part um, because the one thing I don't know how to do real well is I, I, I can't visualize angles and offsets in my head very well. Um, so I just kind of, I'm just going to try to wing it. So this is going to be, I'm going to make this the same diameter because that's sort of what it was as that. So and let's start, I'm going to start it out with it matching. I'm not going to put a constraint. So here's the here. So you could do this with a with a part pretty easily, but um, mix mixing and matching the part design part design and parts workbenches hasn't worked out well for me. You may have different mileage, but I you know I have to tell you what ha has worked for me. Um, and also keep in mind that FreeCAD is changing as you go. Oh, and this is really important. This is what version I'm using. It's 0.17. This is the daily build. And I think I updated it like two or three days ago. So you can see that. So this may not work on version 16. Probably will not. Um, so you do want to get a, you really want to get a recent version anyway, because uh, they really make a lot of changes on a regular basis. Okay, let me try this again. So for some reason, when I typed the value and it didn't do the rotation, so I'm just going to do this by hand. Um, and it's going to be, I'm going to do negative 45 because I want to go in the other direction. Let me just check if I'm recording, sorry. Yep, OK. 
Okay, sorry about that. Um, so let me go down to negative 45. So this is, oops. All right, so you see that's, I don't know why, getting some, yeah, I often get weird stuff. So now I'm just gonna move it up. So that's about the angle we want. Um, so now you can just kind of move it around to where you need it to be. This is the hard part, because uh, you know I want this edge to line up with this. So I'm too way too lazy to figure out how to do that mathematically. So I just, I kind of get it where I want it. And uh, so what, the one thing I, w I do want to do is, oops. So if I, if you go from the top view, it's easier to move this guy around. So I think it was like 14 was about the right spot. And you know, for those math whizzes out there, there's probably a real easy way to figure this out. Um, and let's just make this. Okay, so here's the other thing is, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pad this sketch down. So we're gonna, we're gonna pad and we're gonna say to face. Oops, not to first, to face. And then I'm gonna select this face, and now you have your corner piece, and you can see I'm way off. So now, um, now I just line it up. So I'll look from the bottom. I think that's five. Yep. So I hit five on the on the keypad. I should have my mouse thing running. Sorry. Um, and now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna adjust this to get it where I want. So it looks like 10 is going to do it, or 9, let's try 9. And you know, this isn't a precision part, so I don't think it matters that much. That's good, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's, that's that. Um, so now let's return our view. And so now I'm just going to mirror this part all over the place. So first thing is we're going to create a polar pattern. Um, because I can't, it's it's hard to mirror to the diagonal. So we're going to do a polar pattern, and we're going to select the z-axis, click OK, and then we're going to we're going to select the polar pattern, and we're going to mirror that, and we're going to select the pad that we made. I think that was the right pad. Yep. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to select this plane to put it over here, and then we're going to do the same. We're going to do another mirror on the polar pattern. So you, but you can't mirror a mirror for some reason yet. Um, so I'm going to select this pad. It, I think it'd be cool if it highlighted the pad uh, so you know what you're clicking. So now I'm going to click the ZY, YZ paint plane and that's good to go. Alright, now I'm going to create a sketch on this plane. And that's going to, so we're, this is going to be our hole. I'm going to create an external geometry. And I'm going to select these, both of these points and constrain them to be coincident. And we're, we're going to also click the radius and set that to let's just say three okay and now I'm gonna pocket that rate pocket that sketch and I'm just gonna leave it at that so you know the you can pick whatever size you want and now I'm gonna do the same mirroring thing I did before so first I'm gonna mirror the pocket to this so you can see it's in there or a uh, polar pattern now I'm gonna do two mirrors on the polar pattern so it's the pocket. So we're gonna do this, the Y, X, X, Z plane first. So you can see you got a pocket there. And now we're gonna do on the polar pattern again. So you don't have to mirror the last mirror. Um, I have a feeling that might be, uh, I might be exploiting a bug, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Because the power, uh, the, uh, the paradigm that they use is that it's always the last active thing, but the mirror thing, the mirroring thing seems to work. So, uh, and it seems like you notice that only the mirror three is highlighted now. So it seems like it, it accounts for that. And that's your object.
So I hope that helps. And uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. So this is a one-off for someone who posted the question. And um, I hope I was able to answer it for them using the sketcher. Um, if you want me to do it with part design, I'd, I'd be happy to, or uh, parts workbench, I'd be happy to try that. Just let me know. Thanks and have a